Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. So today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make these really popular designs that have the word and the patterns inside of them. And you can do it in Canva. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but if you're going to do it in Canva, there's some really, really easy things we can do. So this first one, you can see we just have kind of the main pattern that's in our letters. And then we have a couple cute little elements surrounding it and we're all done with that one. For the second one though, you can see I've got the pattern in the letter and then I have some more texture down here with some glitter and just something that just feels a little funner than just your plain basic letters. So this one is a layered type design, but I did it all within Canva as well. And uh, let's jump in, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to make these type of designs um, that have the patterns in the letters or patterns in the words, have images in the words, textures in the words, whatever you wanna call this, the first thing we need is to get this actual pattern. We are gonna get those from Creative Fabrica, big surprise. Um, they have so many that you can choose from. This is called digital paper or a seamless pattern or a repeating pattern. They're called a lot of different things, but when you come into Creative Fabrica, you're just gonna to wanna to search something like cute Halloween digital papers. Or again, you could put repeating pattern or seamless pattern, and you're gonna start seeing just a whole bunch of stuff pop up. I really like to look for ones that are in a pack already, because usually when you get them in a pack that's already created, the colors are already going to match very well with each other. But they do have a lot that are just single patterns as well. Speaking of that, it's super cute. So anyways, you will scroll through, you can narrow this down. Um, you can actually even come here and narrow this further to patterns and it'll take out a lot of stuff that isn't actually what you're looking for, that isn't actually a digital paper. Um, you don't have to put cute, you can put just Halloween and you're gonna get a lot more in your search that way. But anyways, here's the two that I used. I used this pack for the Halloween one for the spooky season. And then I used this pack for the fall one for the one that says cozy season. I will link to both of those. You can get them all for free. If you use the link in the description, you can get your first 10 downloads for free. Or right now, Creative Fabrica is having their fall crafting special. Um, use my link and you can get your first year for just $47. So that's like one time $47 and you get a whole year worth of unlimited downloads from Creative Fabrica. All right, back over here. So we have downloaded our patterns and we have come and we have uploaded them into Canva. Uh, to upload files, you know, you're just going to click upload and you will go find wherever you saved those files to on your desktop and you will pull them into Canva. So you can see I've got all of these fall ones uploaded and I've got all of the Halloween ones uploaded. How do we get them in those letters though? How do we get these patterns in the words? Again, a few different ways you can do it. Um, if you saw my last tutorial where we used that app, uh, the font frame app, you can do it that way. You just have less control over your overall design if you do that. What I'm gonna show you today is how to use the Canva elements and the frames. So Canva already has a bunch of frames. Let's see, what's our first one? So I'm gonna type, oops, S frame. And it's gonna pull up all of these actual Canva frames. Let me just open that up. And a lot of them are the letter S because I put the S in parenthesis. You can see there's several different styles you can choose from here. This one's like a retro style. That's probably hard to see. Let me make this background black so you can actually see. Ah, there you go. So there's a retro style. 
Here's more of a serif style. Um, we've got the sans serif style here. And what did I use? I used the sans serif. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna, uh, let me go for this one maybe. Okay, so play around with it. Find whatever it is you want and get your whole entire word. So I'm gonna do this over and over again until I get all of the letters that I need. Okay, all the letters are in there now. I'm going to group everything together and shrink it down all as one. If you start shrinking them down individually, you're gonna run the risk of them ending up different sizes. But if you just group it all together and start shrinking them down, they will all be the same size. I only pulled in the O once, but that's okay because I can duplicate it. Okay, spooky. I'm gonna highlight all of that and just kind of even it up a little bit. Um, it says it's already evened up. Okay, but I don't like the way that looks. I don't like those O's maybe. Well, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. For this video, this is what we're gonna go with. You can go back in and you can pick whichever ones you think you're gonna like. I am going to spread this out a little bit though. That is just too close for comfort. Especially if you're gonna be adding an outline, which we are, you don't want all of your letters touching immediately if you're gonna be adding that outline. So I moved out the first and the last letter, and now if I come to position, I can kinda of tidy it up and it'll make everything evenly spaced. Nice, right? Super easy to do that. Okay, so we've got our entire word. Now we wanna start putting the papers in. Because these are frames, literally all you do is come and start putting your paper in on top of it until you see it fill up. And then we'll do this one and this one and that one and back to the first one. I'm not being super um, specific with this. I'm not making sure each design looks perfect where it is um, because I'm trying to be a little quick for the video, but arrange it how you want. If you do not like where your paper is, you can double click and you can move this paper around. So if I wanted more of that in there, awesome. Same with this one. If I want more of that ghost, and let me blow up my screen so you can actually see what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. If I wanted more of this ghost in my letter, you see I can move this around. And now I'm gonna get the ghost, the pumpkin, and the witch hat inside of the O. So you can play around with that and get it looking however you want it. Okay, now that we have our letters filled with the patterns, I'm gonna change the screen back to white because you can actually see the letters now. And we're gonna add the outline. See how this one had that fun outline around everything? Let's add that in here. So literally, I'm going to highlight everything, clicked in the top right, and drag a box until I had everything selected. This is where you can add a border. And just like that, we now have a border around each letter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can up the weight of that border. You can down the weight of that border. If for some reason you want it to be dashed, you can do that too. Sometimes that's a fun look to go with. I'm gonna go back to the single line. So here's our border, single line. You wanna take the border away, you just do this little circle with the slash. And I think maybe I'm just gonna put it at a 10. 10 is pretty good. Um, if your design or whatever you're adding a border to has rounded corners, you'll want to use this. Do you see what it's doing? Do you see how it's rounding the corners up there? I don't wanna do that though, I want them to stay square. But that is an option you have if you're working with something that's a little more rounded. Okay, so that quickly we have got the basics of our design. Now we need just to type in our word. So clicking anywhere on your um, design that doesn't have something on it, click, click on the um, open space of your design Type a T, 
and type your text. <laughs> I actually like that. I used that text for this, but I actually think it's working out well with, with this design here too. No, I'm gonna go back to what I had. I had, I had used this um, Amethyn text. This is not a text that is in Canva. This is a text that I uploaded into Canva myself. If you have the Canva Pro account, you can come on to your main page and you can come over here into your brands and you can start uploading fonts within your brand kit. These are some fonts that I have uploaded. Where'd they go? So you can see I've got five fonts that I have actually uploaded here into Canva. Again, that is something you can do with Canva Pro. Try it out for free. I have a link in the video description. You can try Canva Pro free for 30 days if you use that link. Oh, you might also notice, guys, uh, this is about to change. Your homepage and editor are getting a glow up. Okay, I'm a Canva ambassador. So I actually got to take a look at this already. It's a lot different. You're gonna be like, whoa, but don't worry. I will make another video and show you how to access everything so you're familiar with it and you won't skip a beat and you just go right back into designing. Anyways, <laughs> back, to, back to our video. Okay, so here is the spooky. Right now that letter spacing is spaced out I'm going to drop it back down to zero and stretch that out. And there we go. So we've got the spooky. It's supposed to be season, not spooky. There we go. Season. <laughs> okay. And then to get these fun little um, elements that I added, guys, I took them right out of the digital paper. Like I wanted it to match. And I could have come in here and I could have typed like Halloween graphics and it's got a lot of really fun stuff, but I wanted them to 100% match what was in my design. So I stole them from the digital paper and let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna add a new page here. I'm gonna come grab my digital paper Let's do, oh, this one, this one's cute. Okay, well, that's tiny. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so I stole this pumpkin and this witch hat and a bat. I think the bat was on a different one. But anyways, to get that done, we're gonna use a Canva Pro feature. With our digital paper selected, we're gonna hit edit image and we're gonna magic grab. And now I can just click on anything in here. I'm gonna click this happy little pumpkin. Oh, okay, everything that's purple, it selected. It did not select this part for some reason, but that's okay, I'm gonna get the brush. I'm gonna make it a lot smaller. And I'm just gonna brush over this part as well to let Canva know, hey, I want that too. Now it's all purple. I can grab and it selected it for me. I don't need any of this. I'm gonna you know, move this out of the way, hit backspace to delete it. And I just have that fun little pumpkin now. I would do the same thing for the rest of the elements that I want. And then I can add them into my design and you see how that is shaping up. So that's how you do the basic one. Okay, let's delete this. And let's see how we did this other one that had a little bit more contrast to it. Um, when you're doing these in Canva, you are a little bit limited on the fonts that you can use because you're picking these frames, right? We come back into Elements and I'm gonna do C frame because Cozy has a C. Well, you'll notice there aren't a ton of C's to choose from. There's a, a decent amount, but there's just not a ton of fonts to choose from. There is a way that you can make your own 
frames, you can take whatever font you want and turn it into a frame. I have another video on how to do it. Um, it does require some downloading and uploading and, you know, jumping around here and there, but you can do it. And once you get your own font in there of whatever you choose, the possibilities really, really are just endless on where you can go from there. But for this tutorial, we're just going to work with what's already here for us in Canva. So again, you'll just pick your letters. Let me see here. What did I use? Okay. So there's the C. Same like we did last time. Get all of your letters. O. Z. And Y. Okay, once they're all on your design, you're going to highlight all of them. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can see. Drag a box around everything so it's all highlighted. Then we can make it smaller. And again, for visual purposes, I'll turn this black so you can see. Okay, do you see those numbers that just popped up? Canva is also really awesome. It's telling me that they are all 70 pixels apart. So I don't need to go to the position and tidy up because they're already all perfectly tidied up. I love Canva. It does so much for you. It just knows what you want and does it. Okay, let's fill these up with our digital papers. So these were the fall ones. I'm going to do C, O, Z, Y. Okay, I'm not exactly sure that's the order or even what I used for up there, but for this video, that is what we're gonna work with. Now I will turn the background back to white. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Just like we did before, we're going to outline these. So select them all, come to your outline, get yourself just a single line, and there you go, you've got your outline. If you want to change the color of this outline, you're just going to click right here. Instead of clicking the actual outline, let me do them all at once. Select everything. This is your border color. So you click it and you can literally change it to whatever you want. That was a fun blue. I can make it an orange. I can make it a pink. I can do whatever I want with it. I'm going to put it back to this blue. Okay, so that's the base layer. But now we're going to get this fun glitter and velvet kind of look. Guys, this one was really fun to do. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to duplicate it. So you can come up here and you can hit duplicate or you could have right clicked and duplicate is there as well. With it all duplicated, I'm gonna pull it down here. Okay. Now we want to delete the first pattern that we had in the letters because we're gonna add another pattern. To delete it, right click and just detach image. It pops that digital paper right on out. You can hit backspace and you see it's gone. We're going to do that for all of them. Okay, so now we're starting fresh. We have our base layer. Now we're going to come and get that fun glittery element. To get that, I came back into elements and I typed, I think I typed orange glitter border because that's what's there. And I went to graphics. My dishwasher is letting me know that it's done. <laughs> um, and I just scrolled until I found something that I liked. Okay, this was in the family of what I was using. So I clicked it and you can see all these magic recommendations down here. If I go to see all, this is what I was using. I used this one, I used this one, I used that one I believe, maybe this one, I don't know. There's so many. Um, let's just start using them. I'm gonna take that one out. 
And I'm gonna start with this orangey one. So I just take it, drag it in, just like that. Oh my gosh. And again, I can double click and I can move this around however I want it to be. If I want more of that glitter, if I want more of the orange, whatever it is I want. Okay, now let's go for this color. Awesome, you can adjust that however you want. Let's do this one and let's do, oh, this one, I like that. Okay, there's the patterns. Now, literally, we're just gonna select all of these guys and we're going to move them up until they are perfectly aligned. I can't believe how easy this is. Until they are perfectly aligned with the ones on the top and bazinga, as my child would say, you're done. How easy was that, right? You want to group all of this together though so it doesn't move around. Okay, group. Awesome. Now we just need our word. So again, I'm going to type on just an open area or tap on an open area, type a T and type in the word season. Um, let's see, what color did I have it? I had it like a bluish kind of color. That's probably where it was. And then I gave it an outline that was like a creamy kind of color. Okay, so we're going to, if it is not an element, you're not going to have that border selection. You're gonna to have to come into your text effects. And now we can give it an outline from right here. We're gonna change its color. Um, you know what, I'm gonna click on this plus right here. It's gonna pull up a color menu. I'm gonna take the pencil and just kind of click in here to that creamy color and then maybe drag down a little bit. Let's try that. That's too yellow. Well, play with it, get whatever you want, and then you can increase or decrease the thickness from here. Okay, and also this lettering, I had spaced it out. You see it's got that letter spacing of 178. You can increase it, decrease it, however you want it to look. All right, that's really all there is to it, guys. It's super, super easy. So hop in there, start creating, and uh, show me what you've made. We'll see you next time.